the Goa police. The Goa police, specifically the anti-terrorist squad of the Goa police, held a joint counter-terror exercise with the National Security Guard at four different locations in Goa from the 22nd October till 24th of October. In this exercise, which was held at four different locations, we assessed our own capabilities of the Goa ATS. The NSG helped us to augment our capabilities and the joint terror exercise which was conducted at these four different locations was a great success with wholehearted participation of all the stakeholders. We would like to specifically mention that the Goa Anti-Terrorist Squad holds such counter-terrorism exercises regularly in the state, sometimes in the form of mock drills, sometimes in the form of joint counter-terror exercises involving the National Security Guard and the elite forces of other states like Maharashtra, Force One, they have got a Force One unit of the anti-terrorist squad. So the last joint, joint terror exercise, counter-terror exercise, which was held jointly by Goa ATS and the NSG was in February 2023. Thereafter, we had a joint counter-terrorism exercise with the Force One of Maharashtra Police in July and August. And this year, we have conducted this joint counter-terror exercise with the NSG. This exercise gains significance because of the forthcoming exposition of the sacred relics of St. Francis Xavier, where the state is gearing for this event. And we, the Goa ATS, as well as the NSG, we specifically chose both the churches, the Basilica of Bomb Jesus, as well as the Sikh Cathedral. And this terror exercise, joint terror exercise was conducted. And I wish to say that with the participation and synergies and seamless participation of all the stakeholders, this joint terror exercise, counter terror exercise has been a good success. It has been a good learning experience for the Goa ATS. The participation was good and we hope and look forward to hold such joint counter-terrorism exercises in future with the NSG as well as the allied forces of other state police. We identified four places, four vital installations. We can say the four vital installations. The four exercises have been conducted in the North Goa district. Specifically, we have taken two vital installations. One is a government building, one is a private building. And the two are the churches, as I have mentioned, Basilica of Bomb Jesus and Sikh Cathedral. The drill was offshore as well as onshore. The involvement of the state coastal police has also been there. So, how many uh, commandos from both sides have been involved? The composite strength of both the sides would be around uh, 400. This was particularly uh, in the view of the exposition or overall. Uh, 
this is a joint counter terror exercise which we hold every year so this time the particular exercise that we have held here at this point of time gains significance because of the forthcoming exposition where we have been able to assess our own capabilities the capabilities of the goa ats yes. Uh, we have received appreciation from the National Security Guard. Whatever recommendations we will be receiving, we will act on it. Uh, there will be any uh, groups who are deployed for exposition from the NSG sector for the exposition plan? As of now, the ATS has made, has made elaborate arrangements for deployment of our own staff, our own commanders. At the particular location for the forthcoming exposition. Coastal side, yes, the coastal police were involved in this exercise. One part part of the exercise also uh, also involved uh, coastal police. No, no. no. Now, uh, VVIPs such as a movement asta, that is handled by the other unit of Goa Police, which is the security unit, wherein the Goa ATS commandos, if required or if called specifically, participate or their participation is included. Uh, now, yeah. People were aware. Ani, ami, NJ kalam poi ni. Then it has been done on a real-time experience, real, real-time scenario. So, Ashen sir, kena kide gorle na. Jalar people are also aware now ki Ashen kena kide gorpak chetta. Ani, ami kide yeh jo pakje precaution jo pakje. Like for example, evacuation of the site. In one, in one of the vital installation, uh, it involved uh, eva evacuation of the people who were inside, inside the building. So, I am so standard operation, uh, operation procedure as that, so I am follow the law. Sir, you have to have a specific target as the time frame as So, people who have a good idea, such as the NSC general call as that, they can obviously have their comments with us and go ideas about the general immortal purpose of the law. Like, which is the specific time frame as that? In, a, in, a, in any operation, there is no specific time frame because we do not know opposite side in the Sometimes the operation can conclude immediately. Sometimes it may take a lot, lot of time. That's the time frame specifically. I mean, Sangpaksha can keep last a little bit. So as I have told you, the NSG has appreciated our participation and amche je ki response as a way they have appreciated us we are all uh, well equipped in this ats bane aate hain yes the ats is adequately equipped which the nsg has also experienced Negotiable, crisis negotiable, hostage negotiable. Kal okay. Kalam. Kalche exercise and crisis management. Josh of Veda. I mean, hostage negotiation include. It's included. We have done it. We have done it in this exercise. So, uh, if NSG can share their experience, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Major Anirudh. I was the coordinating officer for this exercise. Uh, as it has been said by my GC, and first of all, I'd like to give a vote of thanks from, on behalf of GC, uh, CTTF, ta the task force, to Mr. Edwin. As you had asked, uh, this is a collation force. So it is integrated that both services give their best. And this is what we uh, implemented yesterday, and successfully in the both targets that were uh, all the four targets. 
ये कोलेशन फोर्स था जिसने साथ में इंटीग्रेट होकर काम किया है दैट इज वाई वी अचीव वॉट वी केम टू कम्प्लीट हो गया See, whenever such calls come, in the past also, in the past also, we have received. Uh, the state has been receiving these calls. Hoax, monak shakna ami. No, na, none of the calls are hoax unless they are thoroughly analyzed and we come to a conclusion that it is a hoax call. Calls yeh tasta. Anik, we are involved at every point of time. The Goa ATS is always involved. Ani ami amche performance nikat. So Goa Nadu par karein Indian Kushar Ali calls upar ami for airline. As of now, I think we are making the media and WhatsApp way that uh, many of the airlines have been receiving bomb calls. As of now, Atta Puran, I'm just going a flight which is connected arriving or departing from Goa. It's like that kind of thing. But we are prepared to analyze. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. थैंक यू